Then what we're going to do is let's create our camera follow. And we'll open up the camera follow script. So in our camera follow, we're going to need a reference to a target to follow. So we can do public game object uh, target. And here we can do a reference to a transform. So private uh, transform uh, target position. So now um, when we start up, what we want to do is set the uh, target position to equal the target uh, transform. And then in our update script, what we will do is uh, if uh, target uh, position is not equal null, we will do transform.position. So we're talking to the actual camera's transform now. And we're going to set its position uh, to a new vector 3 with the uh, target position x, target position uh, y. Um, whoops, target, sorry, I'm having a uh, autocomplete meltdown here. Let's try this again. I want to set this to the transform, uh, oh. target, position, position x, target, position, position y, and uh, we'll do this to the, the camera's own transform, um, position z. So this is important. What I've done is we're going we're to have the camera automatically realign itself to the x and y position of whatever it's following, but we want to make sure that the camera retains its own z position or else you wouldn't be able to see the object. And uh, let me refactor this. I want to rename this. This is the bad name, which is what's hanging me up. This should be target transform. Um, whoops, I spelled that wrong. Rename, transform. All right, so we'll save this out. And uh, now let's go to our camera. We'll add our camera follow. And in this, we're going to set a target. And this is important. We want to set the target to the player in the scene. I got so many people who wrote me back and they're like, I set it to the player and it didn't work. And remember, the assets is going to be what's in the prefab folder. The scene is what's actually in the game itself. So now we run this and you'll see when the player falls, the camera follows them. And now as we move around, we see all of the level. And that's like the easiest way to build the most basic camera follow script.